Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about dimensionless numbers. So before going into a deep, let me tell you what is dimensionless number. So dimensionless numbers are the numbers that have an important role in analyzing the behavior of fluids or of solid materials. We will be discussing about dimensionless numbers used in chemical engineering. So first one is Reynolds number. Reynolds number is a ratio of inertial force to the viscous force. It is given as formula of rho v d by mu where rho is the density of a fluid, v is the velocity of a fluid, v can be average velocity or the mean velocity but its unit will be meter per second l is the linear dimension or the length of a pipe or a cylinder from which the fluid is flowing and mu is the ki kinematic viscosity so reynolds number is generally used to identify whether the inertial force is bigger or lesser than the viscous force. If the inertial force, generally the inertial force is always bigger than the viscous force. And Reynolds number help us in identifying the nature of the flow, whether it is laminar or turbulent. Second is Froude's number. So Froude's number is a ratio of inertial force to gravity force it is given as v by under root gl where v is the velocity of the fluid g is the acceleration due to gravity l is the characteristic length so fraud number is generally used to analyze nature of flow in weirs channels, spillways, etc. Third is the Weber number. It is ratio of inertial force to surface tension. Weber number is a very useful quantity for analyzing fluid flow where there is an interface between two different fluids. In the formula of Weber number, V is the velocity, rho is the surface tension or sigma is the surface tension, rho is the density and L is the characteristic length. So it is generally we have as discussed that it is useful for identifying the flow, analyzing the flow. It indicates whether the kinetic or surface tension energy is dominant. Fourth is Euler's number. Euler number is a dimensionless used for analyzing fluid flow dynamics problem where the pressure difference between two points is important. It is the ratio of inertial force to the pressure force and in the formula it is given as V by under root P by rho where P is the pressure, rho is the density and V is the velocity. All the numbers we are discussing are generally used in fluid mechanics and are for fluids. Euler's number gives us the energy loss in the flow due to the pressure difference or the pressure force. Fifth is the Mach number. It is a ratio of inertial force to elastic force. Generally it is given by V by C. V is the velocity of an object traveling with velocity V. C is the speed of a sound. It is 3 into 10 raised to 
8 meter per second but for sound we may take another value so Mach number is used to analyze fluid flow where compressibility is an important factor for a sound the velocity is 348 to 350 meter per second in air so it is important for analyze the fluid flow when the compressibility is important factor sixth is the biot number biot number is a ratio of conductive resistance to convective resistance it is given by hlc by k where hs h is the heat transfer coefficient lc is the characteristic length characteristic length can be found by volume divided by area k is the thermal conductivity of the material note that biot number is useful for heat transfer calculation of solids we have another number that is Nusselt number which is for fluid while the biot number is for the solids seventh is the Fourier number it is the ratio of heat conducted to the body to a heat stored Fourier number indicates how much efficiently the body is conducting heat hence larger the Fourier number faster the heat conducted and Fourier number is given as alpha T divided by LC square alpha is the thermal diffusivity LC is the length and T is the characteristic time Okay, so 8 is the Nusselt number. Nusselt number are, is same as the biot number but it is for the fluid. Here we will be considering thermal conductivity for the fluid. Nusselt number is generally used in heat transfer for determining the value of heat transfer coefficient using different analogies ninth is the parental number parental number is a ratio of momentum diffusivity to heat diffusivity and it is given as mu cp by k the viscous force is mu by rho divided by k by cp by rho so it will be giving mu cp by k where mu is the dynamic viscosity k is thermal conductivity of a material and cp is the specific heat parental number is generally used to describe the thermal boundary layer what is thermal boundary layer we will be discussing it in next video Tenth is the Grashof number. Grashof number is generally used in determining the type of convection or it is generally used in free convection. So it is the ratio of buoyancy force to the viscous force and it is given as G beta Ts minus T infinite Lc cube divided by kinematic viscosity square. Okay, so we have already discussed it is for natural convection, free convection. Relay number. Now onwards we will be discussing about the numbers, dimensionless numbers, which are derived from the numbers we have already discussed. So Rayleigh number is one of those. It is a multiplication of Grashof number and to Prandtl number. 
real egg number is helpful in determining the type of resistance uh, convective re convection whether it is a free convection or forced convection if real egg number is more than 10 raised to 9 it is forced convection or else it is free convection Stanton number it is defined as a ratio of heat transferred by convection to the heat capacity of fluid it is also derived from the previous numbers like Nusselt, Reynolds and Prandtl it is NU by RE into PR given as H by Rho Mu Cp where Mu is the speed of a fluid flowing Rho is the density of fluid Cp is the specific heat of a fluid Packlet number It is a product of Reynolds and Prandtl number and it is given by L into U by alpha where alpha is the thermal diffusivity U is the velocity of a fluid flowing L is the characteristic length Packlet number is used in calculation of convective heat transfer rate ok so this Jacob number it is not useful in chemical engineering or else we we will not be studying it here bond number okay so this is the ratio of buoyant force to the surface tension force it is generally used to analyze the behavior of the bubbles smith number it is ratio of momentum diffusivity to the mass diffusivity it is given by eta by d where eta is the kinematic viscosity and d is the mass diffusivity it is used in fluid flow where simultaneous mass and momentum heat transfer diffusion occur this number is also not in our course so why not be discussing it Sommerfeld number is also not in the course Newton number ok so Newton number is very important for chemical engineers because it is used in chemical reaction engineering as well as mass transfer it is a ratio of mean free path to the characteristic lens so this number is very useful in catalyzation if the Newton number is more means mean free path is more compared to the characteristic length and so characteristic length if it will be less or the pore length will be less then the molecules having more the mean path will collide with each other and the catalysis decreases Thank you.